Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to start a survival world. So yeah. So at first, when you after like the Minecraft launcher, after you download it, you'll see the screen. And um, there's a bunch of buttons, but I'll be using single player. Um, these are just a couple worlds I already have. I push create new world, which is what you should push. Um, it will uh, tell you the world, what your, what your world wants to be named, like what you want to name your world. So I'm going to um, just name mine like survival. So I'll be naming mine survival, but you can name whatever you want. Um, down here will be the game mode. So I'm going to keep mine on survival because this is a survival like um, tutorial. But there's also hardcore, which is the same as survival, but in, it has the hardest difficulty. That's all you can use. You have one life. It kind of tells you that down there. Creative mode is well, what that says: ultimate resources, free flying, and destroys both instantly. And you can you can't die. So I'll keep mine on survival. Um, more, more world options. Um, take you to this screen, which will show you your seed. You can put whatever you want in here, like any type of number or letter. And that'd be your seed. Um, the letters will turn into numbers. Um, like there's, they have a certain number like corresponding to them. So if you put in that seed and you look at your seed and it um it's just all a bunch of numbers, then you know why. So I'm gonna keep mine blank for a random seed. Generated structures, I'm gonna keep this on, but you also can keep this off. But I'll, I'll leave mine on. Allowed cheats, I would keep off. But you can you can also turn that on because it's a Sora world. I'll keep these off. Like if you're playing creative, like in creative mode, you're going to want to keep those on. Bonus chest, I'm going to keep off because that kind of gives you a couple extra supplies. Wood, food, some like sticks and tools and a chest. So I'm not going to be using that. So I'm going to keep that off. You also can switch that on. World type, um, I'm going to give on default. But um, there's also super flat, which you also can customize. This will just show you like the layer. Um, and then you can push presets for some like the presets so these are like some ready-made worlds and up here you can like customize it like a lot like with what biome what type of um like uh journey structure sorry about that um how many blocks what type of blocks so yeah and um push this it's large biome which is just a normal default world but like all the biomes are extra large amplified is um it like has like really crazy terrain and Floating islands and all that stuff. Um, buffet, it also has, you also can customize it. You can change it to whatever biome you want, which is kind of cool. All the biomes, Minecraft. And uh, the world generation surface is just like a normal world. Caves are um, just like a cave. Floating islands are like floating islands inside the sky. Also, I forgot to tell you, super flat. It's just a, it's a super flat. It's all everything's flat. So, let's keep mine on D on default. And if you push done, it'll take you back to this screen. You push cancel, it'll take you back to all your worlds. You push create new world, it will create your world. So while this is loading, I'll just cut ahead. So bye for now. Okay, so we're back in the world, and so after that was loading, it didn't take too long, but I just want to cut ahead. So the first thing. You'll see it's most likely trees unless you spawn like a desert or something. Um, but um, there, there's different types of trees. Different types of trees. There's oak, which is that, and there's also spruce, jungle, um, acacia, and a dark oak. So a spruce is like a dark type of wood. It's kind of like a stained wood. Acacia is um, like a orange wood. Jungle is more of like a pinkish um, wood, and dark oak is like a, like a dark chocolate. So, well, right now I'm surrounded by birch and um, oak wood, so I'll just go gather up some wood. So I which tree. So you should have the controls by now. Um, Minecraft kind of tells you, but um, just hold down a uh, click, like a left click. Oh, I don't know what's going on there. Oh, that's like a little crazy. Um, you just hold down like left click until it breaks. There's a little breaking animation. So wait till it breaks. And it should be less. Okay, there. 
So six pieces of wood. Uh, I think that's, that's that's good. So when you if you push E, you you'll open your inventory, which will have your inventory slots, your hot bar, your shield or offhand, your armor. So you have your helmet, chest plate, leggings, and um, boots. You also have your recipe book and um, your, your player crafting grid and like the output of your crafting. So you're gonna take your wood and put it up inside of the crafting grid and you'll see that you get oak planks from that. So you can just click them with left click and drag them back into your inventory. But if you wanna go faster, you can hold down shift while you're clicking and it does all of them instantly and takes them all to that spot. So that's kind of a quick way. And if you push um, the recipe book, it will open like this, um, like uh, it tells you how to craft stuff basically. So I can craft some you have tap um, crafting table, which is the next thing you're gonna want to craft. And after the crafting table, you can just place it down, looking at the other block, um, right click, and you can right click to open it. And now you have a three by three, so you have more things to craft. Um, the next thing you're gonna craft is probably a stick, so it's just like um two pieces of wood on top, and you get four. Um, uh, yeah, I think that's enough six. I was just thinking. And if you exit and go back in, you'll see some more um, items. It has to like, refresh. So the item that we're going to want to make, so there's a bunch of different tools, but the item that we um, need to make is a pickaxe, which is really the only wooden tool that you need to make. And once you have a wooden pickaxe, you're going to want to go find like some stone. So you're going to look around for like a cave or a mountain side. So it's kind of dips down here. You can't find any. Hmm, Maybe down here, a little stair. Um, yeah, I don't think I can really find any um stone. So what you can do is just dig straight, like just not well, dig straight down, just kind of dig like down. So I'll start right here. I can just like break away, just hold it down like normal, break the dirt. Like that, and you just need to dig like a staircase down to the bottom. Just keep on digging, eventually find something. This is deeper than normal. Oh, there we go. So we found some stone. So you just mine it up. It takes a little bit longer. And you also need a pickaxe to mine um, stone. You need a wooden pickaxe or any other pickaxe. So you just break this. Uh, I think 20 pieces of cobblestone is usually good enough. So we'll try to gather up 20. So you can make most of the th things that you need um, with cobblestone. Ooh, most of the things like... Oh, scared to here. Most of like the items, you'll get like for 20 pieces of cobblestone, you can make most cobblestone items. So we're almost there. This could be our mine. It's always useful. I mean, it's Minecraft. You can't need mine. So we're almost there. I think just a couple more pieces of cobblestone. And 20. Exact. So we just go back up to the surface. And we go over to our crafting table. We just right click. And then you'll see more tools and more items too. So the first thing that we're going to make is, or anything, just make stone tools. So you can make all the tools. So a uh, pickaxe, oh, I need more sticks. So sticks over here. Oh, a little delay there, okay. So I'll make two sticks. Let's just click that, but no, I forgot. So let's make um, a stone shovel, stone axe. A stone pickaxe. So most of the items are pretty like uh, how they're made. Are you normally two sticks and um the cobblestone, like the actual cobblestone part on there? So like a sword is made like way how you think a sword would be made. Also, there's a hoe, which I won't craft right now. I don't really need that. Um, a pickaxe, is, uh, an axe. Sorry, it's crafted like this. How you expect? A stone shell is crafted like that. And we're also gonna probably make a furnace. So we also have a furnace now, so we just place that down. This is another of like the tool blocks. So if you just right click, um, you'll see this like inventory thing. And so down here is the fuel where you're cooking or smelting and the output. And it also has a recipe book. Also, I forgot to say, tell you on the um, crafting table, if you push the X, um, it will only, sh if it's a check mark, it will only show you the blocks you can make. So the same on this. So this this is the only items I actually can make. And if they're red, then I can't make them. I don't have all the um, resources yet. So after, uh, so I think this is a good amount of stuff. You could go probably mine 
I probably get more trees. So let me get a birch. Also, birch is kind of like a tan white. So I'm just mine this tree out. Let's install Yeah, birch trees are taller than um, oak trees. So I just made this onto wood. Oh, right there. Okay. Shift click that. Oh. Oh wait. I didn't shift click. The, you also can shift click it into crafting table thing. Just like that. And we can go mine up some more. Oh, sticks. Yeah, sticks drop from leaves. And um, leaves will like decay if there's no wood by them. So once you cut down the tree, they'll all decay. So I just get some more stone, and I'll tell you, I'll come back when I gather up a couple more pieces of stone. Okay, so I just came back, and um, I was just digging some cobblestone, and I also found this little, like, not underground, but, um, like, water thing, which is kind of cool. So, like, up there is, like, where our base is. So, yeah, also, this um, block right here, it looks different from the stone. It's one of the four different stone types. So there's stone. Um, this is, um, oh. Is it, is it andesite? Yeah, andesite. And there's also granite, which is like a red, and diorite, which is white. So I think that, I mean, I think that's good enough for uh, stone. Yeah, 17. Um, and we also got an andesite block, which is kind of cool. So now, since we, um, now since we have some more cobblestone, we can just, like, we can, that's kind of more of a building material. But I also forgot to tell you about making a chest. So if you come here, you just make a chest. It's kind of like a furnace, but made out of wood. We'll put that down there. It's kind of like the like utility blocks and stuff. If you just click on it, it, it'll have like an extra inventory slot thing, which is kind of nice. And it's also smaller than a normal block. So we can probably put some more of like our junk in there, stuff we don't use, like sticks. We also don't use that. So we can keep all that stuff in our furnace. Now, since, oh, here's an apple. That's actually helpful. So now since we um now since we're done mining, next thing we're probably gonna do is find some food. Well we have an apple now, so I guess we kinda of found food. But I'm gonna look around for some animals. Like a cow, a sheep, chicken, or a pig. So I'm just gonna look around. And if you don't know how to sprint, so that's like running, uh you can either push control while you're running or um double tap. W, um, w. So since I don't really see anything, and it's kind of becoming night, I, and since I, only, uh, since I have an apple now, so that's kind of food. Um, and since my food's not going down, like my hunger, I guess I'll break through this. I think we probably need to make like a little star base because it's kind of turning night, and at night, like monsters and stuff will come out, so I kind of want to like make a tiny little starter base for now. So I'll cut down a couple more trees. Yeah, and also I don't also the next if you find sheep, then that it's like extra like helpful because you're also probably gonna need um, you're also I'm also gonna need uh, wool for a bed to skip night so you can just go to sleep. And ooh, this is kind of scary now. So also you can just you know, craft wood right there. So now since I have this wood, I'm gonna kind of make like a little starter home, something kind of small, just so nothing will attack me. I'm sleeping, it's not gonna look good at all. So I think that is good, and if I just kind of close it up, oh, I guess, oh, wait, wait, I have more wood. I just gotta cover this up, oh, I just need one more piece. Oh, wait, no, I have more piece. So. Uh, let me get this birch, and I'm gonna make a door. So to make a door, you just take any, any type of wood, and like a six by like kind of like pack thing, I don't know how to like explain it, just like a big bar of wood, and you get three doors, you can get any type of wood type, and I'll place that down right there. So now we have a door. And open and close. Also have two doors so open there. But right now, since we're kind of waiting, also they can jump, um, mobs can jump over that. So I'm gonna need to block that up better. I'm gonna make like a little birch part on this house. A little birch with like, green on top. Okay, there. Down. It's kind of scary going out. So let me go gather up some of these. 
These are saplings, so I can plant down trees if you right click. They'll eventually grow up into a tree. So let's place some of these around. So I'll get more wood. And this is kind of scary. Okay. Hmm. I don't really see anything spawning, which is good, but. Yeah, it's kind of scary. Um, hmm, do I have enough sticks? Yeah, I do. Okay. I'll make a ladder. So to make a ladder, you need five, uh, five, so seven sticks. You have an H. Make three ladders. And ladders you can just place on the side of blocks, which is kind of unique. And if you just walk up them, you'll just climb up. It's another little Minecraft thing. I'm kind of looking out for any mobs. It's night time, definitely night. Um, hmm. I don't really see anything, which is kind of strange. Wait, ooh. Yeah, I don't really see much. Okay. So now since we're in here, um, hmm. There's not much more of the craft, so I'll just tell you if something exciting happens, and I'll just come back, so. Bye. Right. Hey guys, so, okay, so some exciting things, not really exciting, but some things happened. Um, since no mobs were spawning, I went out of the game and like reloaded, and I found. So I was just like walking around exploring, trying to find some mobs. There's a creeper, so they blow up if you look. I was just gonna show you. Oh, what's he doing? Okay, let me see if I can try to kill him. Actually, so you just kind of want to go in, charge, and if that white stuff goes all the way up, he'll blow up. So it's just there. It takes about four heads with a stone sword. If you have like something like a wooden sword. I take longer, but I did find. Also, um, I found a wolf. They don't attack you unless you attack them. And I was just walking around, and then I found. There's a skeleton. They have arrows. Oh, and there's a bunch of skeletons actually. So I don't want to be around here. Um, where's a wolf? I found some wool because from a sheep. There's a zombie. Oh, yeah, he hit me. Which one was well? Okay, he dropped rotten flesh and the um, creeper dropped gunpowder. So, i to tell you that. But I thought I saw some uh, wool, but I don't think, I think it despawned because it was on the ground. So, that's kind of upsetting. I didn't gather it up, so. So, I was going to get a bed, but then I actually didn't get a bed, so. I should get back to my base. Oh no, where is my base? Oh, that's a creeper. Oh, here's a pig. I need meat. So if you keep on hitting any animal, it will just like keep on taking damage with a left click. Wait, where am I? Hopefully I don't get lost. That is one thing to be careful about in Minecraft is try to stay close to your house or your base. Oh my gosh, where am I? For real. I think I'm I think I went way too far. So oh and there's a skeleton. I'm gonna try getting. Whoa, that's a skeleton right there. And I fell. I don't have that much health left. Probably should have. Um, that was probably a really bad idea of me coming out here, but I need to go find my base. I mean, I'm on like the coast. Oh, here's the wolves. Here's some wolves. Um, I think my base is just somewhere up here. That's a freaking. Oh, oh, he's gonna blow up. He's gonna blow up. I don't have that much health left. I should eat my apple. And some raw pork. So it's such a bad food source. And some rotten flesh. This is like, I'm like hopeless. Oh, it gave me hunger. Yeah, it gave me like an effect. That's one thing that happens when you eat rotten flesh. It, it like lowers your hunger, but then it up, like, you can like help your health go up. I'm really unprepared to be out here. So really, where is my house? This is so weird. I think it's this way. No? Hmm. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that was kind of okay. Let me see if I can make it down there safely. Just come back into my house. So I don't have any food now, which is not good. It's very bad. Um, hmm. I don't have anything in this chest. Oh no. I can my ladder. Oh yeah, also, oh, yes, I saw a pig. I actually jumped. 
But anything that's undead will burn in the daylight. So now this, this guy will be easy to attack. And he dropped some rotten flesh, which I don't need. Also, um, jump when you would um, attack and you're like falling. When you hit an animal or any mob, um, it will do extra damage. So if you do that, it's a, but I didn't actually do it. Um, it'll do a critical hit, which is like a um, little bit extra damage, but it's sometimes helpful. So I just come over here, I can like crit, critical hit. Like there. You see if the particles not sound, that's how you know it's a critical hit. So I got some more um, pork, which is good. I need some more food. I'm just gonna come back to my base. This doesn't look very good. And uh, okay, yeah. Let me show you how to cook stuff. So if you have anything that's wood, well, I'm gonna use this wood pickaxe because I'm not using it anymore. Or any or any fuel source, you can kind of look that up. If you put inside the fuel and you just put something on top, like the way you're cooking, it'll start cooking. So that arrow will tell you how much, like how long it will take for one item to cook. That's why that's way. I don't think I'm gonna get much out of this. That wasn't much, I got one. Um, I guess I can cook these doors. <laughs> I'm really unprepared. I didn't find any coal, which would be like, what I really want. You can make charcoal out of, if you if you cook um, log, any type of log, you'll get charcoal. Which, well, I, should, I should be doing that, but I don't have enough time. I like, I'm trying to kind of like, get some more stuff. Ooh, okay. So I got all um three pork chops, and one pork chop will do four hunger, um like bar things. And if you just hold down, the key, I'm sorry to tell you this earlier, just that was really stressful. Let's go put all these items away. Let's keep that. Oh, let's keep the food on me. And yeah, so I think that's all of the materials. So I have anything else in there. So so bye um. Bye for now. Uh, I'll show you the next episode soon. So, bye.